one of the easiest and fastest ways to add an absolute punch of flavor to seared meats and seafoods is with blackening seasoning. And today I'm gonna show you how to make your own blend at home in just a few seconds. Hello and welcome to I Wanna Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick blackening seasoning. Now, first of all, just to get you up to speed on blackening, it actually refers to a couple of things. First of all, a blackening is, is a seasoning, yes, but blackening is also a type of cooking method. Uh, now, both of these things are usually associated with the Louisiana region and Cajun cooking. And when you're blackening food, what you're doing is you're coating it in this mixture and then you are putting it on a ripping hot pan. Cast iron works great for it. And what happens is that food that's been crusted in that seasoning, once it hits that hot oil or butter in the pan, it creates a crust and it cooks at such a high heat that that crust almost becomes blackened. Not quite burnt, you don't want that, but blackened with that seasoning. It is absolutely delicious. Now for my next video, I'll actually show you how to blacken food, but for now we gotta make the seasoning. And yes, you can buy blackening seasoning pretty cheaply and easily at a store, but as with anything, when you make it yourself, you get to define your own ingredients, your own taste, and maybe you just can't find it in your store or you don't have it in your cupboard and yet you wanna make blackened food. Well, it's really easy. All you need are eight primary ingredients and I'm gonna show you what they are. Okay, it only takes eight simple ingredients to make a blackening seasoning. And by the way, you don't have to put these in little ramekins. I just am doing this for this video. Obviously, when you're putting this together yourself, you can scoop this straight out of a jar. So here's what we got. And you could always uh, kind of tailor this recipe to your taste. But here is my base for a blackening seasoning. We are gonna use two tablespoons of paprika. This is just common paprika. You could also use smoked paprika if you want a little more of that smokiness. We have one tablespoon of salt. This is kosher salt. It's a little coarser and it has that little extra crunch. Then we have two teaspoons of onion powder. Put it right in here. We have two teaspoons of garlic powder. We have two teaspoons of ground black pepper. You could also use fresh cracked pepper, or if you want something a little bit different, you could put peppercorns in a mortar and pestle and just pound those out so that you have a kind of cracked black pepper. And if you haven't seen my video on how to use a mortar and pestle, be sure to check that out because it has some great tips in there. Okay, moving along, we have two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, and finally, a little bit of kick, we have a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, if you like your blends on the spicier side, you can use more. If you don't like it as spicy, use less. So just put everything in a bowl, take a whisk, whisk it all up. You can even use a fork for this. And boom, you just made your own blend of blackening seasoning. Now from here, I just like to put this in a little jar. You can just kind of uh, scoop it in here and it will always be ready for you. So that's how to make your own blend of blackening seasoning. And next time I'm gonna show you how to blacken foods. We'll make some great blackened chicken, some blackened fish. But what's really nice about this blend is you can use it beyond meat poultry and seafood. This goes really great on vegetables, potatoes, something like mashed potatoes, even french fries. This is a really nice savory blend that has some great kick to it. So, you know, try it on other foods and uh, not just meats and seafood and chicken. It goes great on a number of things. But be sure to check out my next video when I show you how to actually blacken foods. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. My name is Chef Matt. This is I Want to Cook. And until next time, I hope you want to cook.